So um, today we are sending Sydney off on a an adventure. Yeah. We are sending him off. Yes, we I, are. I think he decided to go on this adventure himself. Well, anyway, so today he is leaving to go across the world to an orphanage to visit some kids that he sponsors um, in Bangladesh. Yeah, there's a little program based locally on Grand Rapids here that uh, pretty much funds an orphanage over in Bangladesh and they do a group once a year. I got to be part of this group this year, so. So he's gonna be traveling. He's never flown before. And he's never been out of, hardly out of Michigan. And he's gonna go across the world with a bunch of people that he doesn't know. <laughs> so they're, uh, well, they're locals. How many are going? There's 21. So it's a big group and a lot of them have done it before. So it's yeah. not like I'm flying by myself. So he's, he's going with experienced people, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, if you think of him during this week, keep him in your prayers for protection and health. Mm -hmm. Because we want him to come back healthy, and yeah, they have different water, different food, and it's going to be 90 degrees there, so it's going to be a complete opposite change for him. So yeah, keep him in your prayers. I'm sure he'd appreciate that, and yeah. the whole group, not just him. Thank you. So yeah. Thank you. Thank All right, you. we're off to take him to get onto his first flight, because he's got how many flights? Two flights. Two there, two on the way back. He's going to go to Dubai, and then... To Daka. 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 Yeah. I'll get it one of these days. Very far inside. Sydney's giving us his last notes on all the responsibilities that he has on this farm. The three. The, the three, three responsibilities. responsibilities. <laughs> I think there's a few more. You shall find out. <laughs> Pasture time! Pasture time? These guys are anxious. I'm opening up the gates, getting ready to let them out. Oh, they're all, they're all crazy. I don't want to get run over, but here we go. Whoop! Whoop, shoot. Open the gate. to go that way. Wow, that'll clear a barn out in a hurry. <laughs> you got the lingerers who are, eh, no hurry. You're gonna walk around? Let me lock this gate. They haven't been out in pasture for a little while because of all the mud, all the mud we've had. I get my locks because I really don't want them to get out or get in the feed alley. So anyways, they haven't been out quite a while actually. So they're excited to get their exercise. I'm going to put this one in. The fence is up. Oof, I don't know if it is right there. There they all go. That's about half of them. Or half of the milking ones. About half. Yeah. Alright. Oh, they're gonna go way up there. They'll go up there. And then they'll come right back. <laughs> Some of them go right to Ian. Oh, yep, here they come. I know it. Oh, dear. I'll try to be invisible. Nope, they spotted me. Oh, 
Oh boy. Get up, girls. Oh. No, you don't do that to me. Switching gears from doing corn, we're finished with our corn silage and earlage harvest for this year. We haven't washed the chopper yet. Actually, I haven't washed any of the equipment. We're just switching gears and we're gonna go right to chopping some more hay for haylage. The neighbor said that he was willing to um, sell us some, so we thought we might as well uh, take advantage of that. So we've got a few acres to chop this afternoon. I'm gonna drive this, I'm gonna drive the tractor and the Meyer wagon. And Mackenzie and Seth, one of them, they're gonna drive the tandem. So we got Sydney dropped off. He is heading to Chicago to get on his flight to Dubai. And he's around a good group of people to take his first flight with, even though he doesn't really know them. But it's going to be good for him. It's probably going to be very eye-opening going into such a different culture. Cannot wait to hear all his stories when he comes home. I told him to keep a journal and to take lots of pictures. So like I said, we're switching gears doing hay. The neighbor has probably 30 or 40 acres, I don't even know, um, but it shouldn't take us too long to do that. We're just running two vehicles back and forth because uh, the field isn't super far away. Sanders is already merging it, so we're putting th three wind rows together uh, in one, and uh, that helps it go a lot faster, but that also means that um, the volume isn't super heavy if we can put three together. Actually, Sanders is home now, so uh, yeah, he just drove in. So he's all finished and we're gonna get going. I also forgot to say that it's kind of a beautiful day here uh, for being November. I'm just in kind of a heavy flannel where a couple days ago we had snow. That The day that we finished our earlage, uh, I have a video of that I can put up here. The day we finished our earlage, it started to snow right at the end of that video and uh well i'll show you what it looked like by the end of that day well this happened today got a nice little layer of layer of snow on the ground i don't know i don't think i don't think it's gonna melt tonight because it's supposed to be a low of 25 tonight so yeah Burr. Good morning. We have a beautiful sunrise, even though I don't think it shows up on camera as well as it does in person. We've got snow on the ground yet. It was 28 when I woke up, so the sun is so pretty on the trees. So we ended up with some heavy snow and our killing frost and now everything kind of looks drab. But it ended up melting the next day once the temperatures got above freezing. So we only had that snow for about not even 24 hours.
our last windrow and then we're all done and we'll cover the pile I'll show you what the pile looks like when I get back and Kevin's pushing it up right now so I'll show you what it looked like then we got to cover it and we will be done done with uh, silages so that'll be good I didn't have a full load because it was the last of the field. But this is our little pile. Oh, that smells good. Haylage is over with for 2023, and um, and so is the earlage. We already covered the earlage um, the other day, so this is what we're already feeding out of. But this is what um, we last harvested, so that's all good. And yeah, all we have to do is combine a little bit of corn. And we'll show you that when that time comes. It's a beautiful sunset tonight. The sun sets at 6.30 tonight. Tomorrow night it'll be 5.30. We have to fall back an hour. I don't know how many of you do that. Let me know in the comments if you guys do time change, daylight savings time. Um, we do. We don't always like it. I don't think we ever like it, but something that we do here in Michigan and um, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark um, at this time tomorrow. So I don't always look forward to the evenings getting dark so fast, especially when I do chores, but it's a beautiful sunset nonetheless. 